Hey Chess fans, what's up? This um, photo of Bobby Fischer is when he was old and uh, close to his death time. And at that time, he was not interested in chess. Why? One of the main reasons that he was bored of chess was prearrangements. The match that were decided before even the happening. And uh, this is a famous quote from him. It is recorded on the airplane when he was on in an airplane that he said that I don't want to delve into the old chess. If I delve into it, it's like I'm promoting it. But if I have any interest uh, and only one interest, then my interest is to expose these prearrangements. Why am I talking about prearrangements? Because I'm talking about all blunders of Jan Nepomniachtchi in World Chess Championship. And it's a strange, you will see in a moment. The question is whether this World Championship is already scripted or not. Let's go to the uh, blunders and see them first. Blunder, maybe you say that Blunder starts at game 6. No, 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 As at the time that he lost mm, the first game. No, actually it started earlier. It started in game 2 when he went for Catalan structure. And at this position, as you can see, uh, according to Engine, black is better, but its pieces are a little bit scrambled and not not in very good position but slowly but surely black can improve pieces placement and try to win the game and or at least push for and make the life difficult for Carson of course you don't want to move the pawns easily unless you have a very concrete plan for it and what would you do in this position? You are up exchange, you are up a pawn, and the best pawn piece of white is the knight on the d6 square and nothing else. Bishop is okay, queen is okay, like over queen. Is, uh, white has, of course, more activity, but, but uh, still is an exchange and a pawn done. What Yon did? He unpushed the pawn and completely blew up the advantage. No advantage is gone and the game ended in the row. Okay, maybe this wasn't a big one. But let's see the game 6, the famous game 6. In this game, Yon had some strange decisions as a start, but still his position is good. He can take the B pawn and press Magnus by saying that I will queen my A pawn. Okay, why he can take the B pawn? Because if he takes, white cannot take back with the knight because loses the rook. So this is one of the chances. And it is not the only chance. He had many such chances. He had like 20 minutes. And all the time he could capture that pawn. And he didn't. At this moment he had 3 minutes. Uh, and, um, 3 and a half minutes. And he could capture that pawn. And he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, what? what's the reason you moved that queen there? I, I have no reason to talk. Uh, no, I don't see any reason to talk about it. Yeah. And he gave up the advantage. It's a big giveaway. Like, it's uh, no white has a slight edge. And Magnus wins on winning this game. But this wasn't enough. This position, position in the game 8, appeared in the game 8. And again, some strange decisions in opening by Jan uh, Nepomniachtchi. But still, it's okay-ish position. It's mm, the only one the, who pushes is white. But it's very hard for white to make any progress if black doesn't make obvious blunders. But Jan make the obvious blunders, push the pawn. Instead of, for example, moving the king to g8, Jan pushes the pawn, and this is a big blunder. Why? This is a, like his own, uh, 1,500 blunders, uh, something like that. Why it's such a blunder? Because white can give this check and win the pawn. Yes, 
if black wins the bishop, white also wins the bishop. So it's not just winning a pawn, it's also very bad pawn structure. I mean, this is the first thing you calculate. Is there any check or anything like to lose anything here? But yeah, he apparently didn't. This is the tactic. And then mm, apparently Jan asked Magnus whether it was enough or not, but and this photo is by EPA and then but apparently it wasn't enough. This is the game that play was played today, game nine. In this game, Jan is white and pushing a little bit and Magnus uh, is more or less in defensive position. It's not very defensive, the rooks are active, but as still Magnus is down upon and uh, should push so magnus attacked the pawn on uh, c4 but uh, is it attacking the pawn or there was any other reason the, before that uh, rook was under attack of bishop the secondary reason behind the rook to a4 is to attack the bishop uh, we will see um, why currently uh, young for example should save the bishop and move it uh, somewhere but instead, from something with some little bit advantage for white, he went to completely lost game. Why? This bishop is gunner. It's not just bishop is gunner, uh, pawns are also gunner soon. Why? Because Magnus simply pushed the pawn to c6 and uh, bishop is there, trapped and there is no way to survive. What's your opinion? The, do you believe that 2800 player on the on is almost 2800? Can make such um, simple blunders constantly in no uh, in nine games he makes five simple blunders. Can you believe this thing can happen from a 2800 player? Even in rapid game of 2000 players, I believe this consistency of making such blunder doesn't happen at least at, uh, at the time that they can sink uh, in all of them in almost all of them he could sink like for 50 minutes he didn't have time travel or anything yeah let me know your opinion maybe it's just as sick or something and makes these blunders or it is as bobby fisher says it is pre-arranged write your opinions there see you